Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome here today for the auction of two at 28 Abercrombie Street here in Deep Dean. My name's Jeremy Desmere. I'll start with some introductions. We've got a few members of the team here. Uh, we've got Jeanette. He's got the ice bucket with uh, a few waters left, so anyone who wants to grab one of the last waters, you're welcome to jump in. Uh, Jack is going to be joining us in just a moment as well, and certainly on behalf of ourselves, our company Fletcher's, and most importantly on behalf of our vendors, we do extend you all a very warm welcome, which kind of goes without saying today. Uh, but uh, as well as wishing you a warm welcome, I've got a few words of advice before we get down to business. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what's on the market right now, that is it for 2024. Anything that's coming up this week, next week, the week after, that's pretty much it for the year. To, to have any real choice of new listings, you'll be waiting till February or March next year. So my words of advice, if this property ticks the boxes for you, if this suits your needs, if you envisage yourself living here, I want to encourage you to give it a red hot crack today because uh, you may be looking for quite some months to find anything else like it. Uh, with a bit of pent up demand over that quieter Christmas period, you may be paying more for it in the new year. So again, if this ticks the boxes for you, I wish you luck, give it a, give it a red hot go. When it gets to the business end, if you have to decide if you're gonna dig a little bit deeper, stretch a little bit further, I certainly encourage you to do so. So, a few formalities that I need to touch on before we get down to business, which I'll keep as brief and concise as possible. Firstly, today's auction is conducted in accordance with the rules and additional conditions made available for inspection before the commencement of the auction. The vendors have a reserve price and I'm happy to indicate where the bid is being held upon your request. The law in Victoria prohibits any false bids, prohibits causing disruptions to the auction and prohibits attempting to stop others from bidding. As I glance around, you look like a friendly crowd. I'm sure we're not going to have any issues along those lines. Now, uh, the rules do permit vendor bids. If I place a bid on behalf of the vendor, I'll announce it to you clearly by use of the words vendor bid and by law, only I as the auctioneer may make a vendor bid. Lastly, no late bids can be accepted. This is a very important rule, because please understand, it's written into legislation, there's no discretion on my part, and very simply, when I've counted it down once, twice, three times, and the property's knocked down to a successful bidder, that is the conclusion of the auction. No bids can be accepted after that point in time. So, uh, simple message there, bid clearly, bid early, don't miss out for a few split seconds because there's nothing more disappointing than that. Uh, so that's a quick summary of the rule. Now, the under the terms and conditions of a contract for sale. It's been on display. Uh, we've made numerous copies available to those who have requested it in recent weeks. Very straightforward auction conditions. 10% deposit. Balance of the purchase money is 30, 60 or 90 days. Some flexibility there. Uh, so uh, all straightforward as you like. The rest of the documents basically is a collection of certificates from all of the various statutory bodies tells you everything you need to know about 2 or 28 Abercrombie to bid with the utmost confidence. So I'll take this opportunity to pause briefly and ask are there any questions at all about the rules, the documentation, anything I can clarify before we move on. Fantastic, always suits me well when it's quiet at question time, gives me lots of very high quality construction. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the people here mentioned to me earlier, they just don't build them this quality anymore, do they? And it's uh, very, very true. Uh, this one, uh, beautifully constructed, lovely high ceilings, decorative cornices, spacious rooms, lots of natural light, well appointed right throughout with high quality fittings uh, for its time. It's one, ladies and gentlemen, you can move into and enjoy right from day one, exactly in its present form. If you do have aspirations to modernise it even further, bring it into the 2020s, you could certainly uh, add value to it as well in the future, I'm sure. So lots and lots of uh, opportunity here and lots of potential. Uh, three bedrooms, spacious living areas. It's got that lovely separation of living areas as well. I can tell you uh, when it was uh, 33 or 34 degrees when I arrived here earlier and I walked inside, you immediately walked into lovely cool air temperatures. Very, very comfortable. The air conditioning upstairs, which does cool air falls down as well, the whole house was uh, Lovely and cool. You probably even felt it yourself walking through the front door earlier, but bear in mind that was after having the front door wide open and the wind blowing through for half an hour. But uh, lovely, uh, lovely, uh, well, beautifully appointed right through. So I'm telling you stuff you've already know. You've had the opportunity to look through it. The location is absolutely first class. Uh, we've got Deep Deep Primary School just at the top of the street. Uh, I know the current owners, they went to uh, Deep Deep Primary School. I know that because I was there with one of them. So, uh, Terrific school, lots of parklands right nearby, fantastic transport links, the 109 tram in, 
uh, in Whitehorse Road as well. Lots of local shopping facilities. You only have to glance around to see the pride of ownership and, and terrific mix of architecture that uh, makes up all of So, uh, again, I'm telling you stuff you already know. We're here to establish the new owners. I've got genuine vendors inside. I know there's a number of you here today who've expressed genuine interest. We're here, if you're fair and reasonable in your bidding, to establish the new owners. So, ladies and gentlemen, in your hands, who'd like to kick me off with a fair and reasonable starting bid? Very hot today. If we can get it underway sooner than later and not drag it out, that'd be great. Would someone like to kick us off at one five? In the box seat to negotiate, highest bidder is in that position. 1,500,000 now, looking for a rise of 25,000. 1.5 the bid, 25 will put you on top. 1,500,000 now, 1,500,000, looking for a 25. First time, 1,500,000. Second time, 1,500,000. For the third time now, it's like it's snowing on me today under this tree. 1.5 the bid. 5-1, Jeremy. Well, oh, might be a long auction in 10s, but we'll take your little 10s. 1. 7. 70. 170. 1670. 1670. 168. 168. 1,680,000 now. 85. 85. 1685. 1685 the bid now. 86. Just putting a one on top. 86. 1686. 1687. Down to the little digits. 1687. 1687 the bid. Going to sell to the highest bidder today. <laughs> Want to make that very clear? 1687. In the box seat to purchase. 1688, Jeremy. 1688. Tell you where. Or 90. So 1688. 89? 89. 89 now. 1689. 1689 the bid. 1689. 1690. 1690. I can go straight to 17. That might stop. <laughs> 1690 the bid. Selling to the highest bidder today. Be very clear on that. 1690. Bids on the right. 1690 the bid. Go to sell. 1.7, good bid. 1,700,000 now. Sir, don't shake your head. There's an old saying in real estate never stop on an even number. There's only one way to test this theory. You know that, don't you? 1,701. 1701 the bid now. $1,701,000 going to sell to the highest bidder. 1702, 1705, 1710. You tell me. 1701. Who knows? Might have been the lucky $1,000 bid. Might be the one that makes all the difference. 1701. Your bid at 1701. First time at 1701. Don't let it slip through your fingers now. This is where it matters. You must finish on top. <laughs> Second time at 1701. Looking for a further advance. Been quiet over this side of the road. You bidders are welcome to join in any time. Third time, 1701. For a further advance, one seven oh one. I know, I know what you want me to do. These ones are lovely people too, and they're about to secure a property. It looks like one seven oh one. First, second, third time, one seven oh one. 
Any last minute surprises? 1701. We'll finish. Done and silent. 1701. Be quick if you're going to bid because we're selling. Selling. Congratulations, well purchased. Congratulations. Congratulations.